Can you say autoerotic asphyxiation before 9am? Barely state full stop. Autoerotic asphyxiation. Autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> Easier said than done. Not with a rubber ball in your mouth. Oh, that's M&S. The co shop. I mean, <laughs> S&M. Oh, that explains why all my clothes are made of rubber. Ah, gee, hey, hello. Don't see why not. It's not like we have images in a how to. True. Yeah, almost. Suicide is great. And unspoken sexual taboo is even better. I just think it's just missing something. Are we keeping you awake? <laughs> no, I um, still get to sleep till four. Why? I don't expect to be up so early. I wish people kill themselves in a reasonable time. Well. What the universe takes away in sleep, it gives back in coffee. University, we read for. Yeah, and early onset diabetes. Hello? Yeah, this is she. We're doing it right now. Four? I thought you said we had till five. No, no, that's fine. Um, I was just wondering if they uh, had any other news? Have they made a decision yet, do you know? Hello? Hello? And he's gone. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't know. It was just a regular boring vanilla joe. Sounds delicious. Parents? Uh, doesn't have any. Didn't have any. Um, no friends either. How many stories have we done now about lonely people? Apparently everybody's lonely in London. No one sees it in the lake. True. Oh, we could make them think they could be. Ooh, maybe the lake is society. We'll drown in trying to jerk it up with happiness out before we die. I realise you're making fun. That's not the worst idea you've ever had. It's the nicest thing you've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's take a plain, unremarkable white male and turn him into all the friends you've lost contact with and family members you don't speak to anymore. Who purpose the trash? Like a womble. Sure. You ready? Yeah, I guess so. BRT News, wondering if you had any thoughts on screwing yourself? No, sorry, Jack, carry on. No, it's fine. Um, so anyway, it's a piece of white fabric, and now it's falling slowly down through the water as the bowl of porridge continues to turn in the microwave, swelling as porridge does, creating a mound growing bigger and bigger. The fabric is falling, and the sound is getting louder and louder, building to crescendo until BANG! The porridge explodes 
silence. And the white fabric falls to the lake floor with a thud uncharacteristically heavy for fabric. Is that the end? That's the end. What do you think? Um, I don't get it. What do you get? I mean, what does it mean? What do you mean, what does it mean? Um, maybe, maybe if I saw it, it would make more sense. Maybe. Um, I haven't seen any of your films, they're online. Only the uni ones. Well, maybe when we get back, we can, you can show me. I'd rather you oh, excuse went. me, miss, we're from BIT News, wondering if you had any thoughts on the death in the lake last night. Wow. No? Okay. Well, you know what? I've got a great idea for a story. Let's film everybody walking past me, ignoring me, while this pinata effigy of me slowly gets beaten until all that falls out is 2p coins. That's not bad, actually. Actually? Well, to be fair, when was the last time you decided to talk to someone on the street? Well, it's different than normally handing out leaflets or asking for money. Sometimes they even tell me I'm going to go to hell. Oh, that's kind of them. Mm, I think they're being kind. How? I don't know, like they're trying to save my soul or something. How many times have you tried to do that? You have a soul. Oh, ha <laughs> Yeah. I was at Stratford Station the other day, actually, and a woman was shouting about the end of the world. Yeah, she was holding all her shopping bags like she still had to be somewhere. Mm. The end is nigh, but so is the shop's closing guys. The apocalypse is coming, but also great sales at TK Max. <laughs> Stratford also has that guy offering jobs. You know it's a good job when you have to beg people in the streets to do it. What? Anyone on the streets can do it? Yeah. You'll be perfect for it then. I'd have you know, I've got every job I've ever interviewed for. Sorry. That's all right. I, I mean, I think it's a good time, a good thing that they're taking the time because if it's a definite no, then they would have told me by now, right? Yeah. Who else is Dave going to promote to produce anyway? Janet. Mm. Only if they want stories about finance and the colour beige. <laughs> I would quit immediately. You got Dave's number? You need to call him about something completely unrelated. Oh, ha ha, you'll miss me when I'm gone. Yeah. Unlike Lake Boy, apparently no one misses. Mm. self-centred enough to think he deserved a death to be talked about. I don't want a new story about my death. Well, at least my work. Something that meant that I had value to my life. I mean, if this guy had a life, the story would be a whole lot easier. Mm. I've read somewhere in the past that people happily talked about death, but not sex, and now it's the 21st century. It's reversed. The story has both. That's why I get so annoyed with these street creatures. Because all they're focused on is death and beyond, like some morbid buzz light. <laughs> and what they should be focused on is the world they're living in and making it a better place. I don't think I'm completely comfortable talking about death. I do realise that's the bread and butter of the news, right? That's other people. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, sir. That's fine, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, I understand. OK. Bye. Oh. It looks so normal. What were you expecting? A dungeon? Huh? Just more crusty objects. Mm. Those are in the lake. Don't you mean the porridge? Ugh. <laughs> People are so gross. I had no <laughs> idea why it was called that. I thought it was called that because of the algae. Mm. I think it's perfect. Lakes can't get as thick as butter overnight. Whatever you put into it. Wish we'd spoken to that. Lady a bit more. Urban legends make really interesting stories. We don't do interesting stories with the news. Oh. That must be why everyone's so frustrated. They just wanted someone to get lost in the deep end, play a little five on one, a menage a moi. Can you just but hurry up and get the shots that we need? I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Are you afraid of the dead man's house? No, I'm afraid if we don't get this story done in time, I'm going to lose my job. You better start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in This one. isn't a joke. Be serious.
this? What am I looking at? That. And I'm supposed to see you. But doesn't that look like a view from under a lake to you? Not really. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. I just think you're overthinking things. Maybe. Jack. Um, I just need childhood or family photos. Be careful, if someone's stuck. Was. I don't understand. I think it's meant to be a joke. I don't get it. How is that supposed to be funny? Answer a list of questions about this guy. There's an interesting story here somewhere. Not one that could be shot in 20 minutes, though. No. But one no one got to hear. It doesn't mean it's worth telling. There's a philosopher once said we we have two deaths. It's the second one that we've forgotten. I think that's Coco. If you're alone, you can't be forgotten. This guy had one death. Yeah, at the bottom of the lake with his dick in his hand because he believed in fairy tales about enchanted lakes and magical climaxes. Turns out the antidote to loneliness is not an orgasm. Or autoerotic. That's what that thing. Oh. I forgot to say, when Dave just rang, he said that we can't include or mention autoerotic asphyxiation or even allude to it. I know. I heard. Oh. So you also heard? Um, yeah. I'm sorry. That's I fine, didn't... like, I can just apply again. What are you doing? I'm sticking with you, oh god. Cause I'm made out of glue. Anything you want to do, I'll do it with you. Are you finished? <laughs> I'm sticking with you. Cause I'm made out of glue. locations to relax and unwind in the city are few and far between. The areas that do exist often, unfortunately, end up attracting unlawful behaviour. In the early hours of this morning, a body was found in the Lake Inspector Park. What this means for the lake and its availability to the public going forward is uncertain. Marilyn went to investigate. Here in Bethnal Green, the lakes and green spaces are a welcome break from Oh, uh, I don't know what has happened there. We are very sorry. It does look like we're having some technical difficulties with that particular report. Uh, hopefully we will be able to come back to that story later.
Now, how many items of clothing does your pet have? According to this new business startup, not enough. T-shirts, suits, jeans, and yes, even wedding dresses, you heard that right, are just a few of the items available from Whiskers and Tails. And as Jake found out in his interview, they have big plans on the horizon.